A thousand years passed in a blink of his eye, and a new cosmic body was seen in the sky. For in that brief instant a bright star was born, and then, at his will, from its place it was torn. For in his great scheme this star was the key, he needed to send it upon an epic journey. At the end of its voyage it came to a rest, and then, from that time, man was put to the test. It hovered above a small town on the ground, and with brilliant splendour its light shone all around. Then to a fanfare of trumpets from on high above came his first winged herald with his offer of love. Men were drawn by the promise of his angel and star, and they traversed the land from near and from afar to the place bathed in light from that orb in the sky where they witnessed the sound of a baby's first cry. There they found two proud parents, their hearts so filled with love, as was the boy's father who smiled down from above. To a heavenly chorus his mighty voice cried, I give thee my son, he declared with great pride. Men lowly as shepherds and men as proud as kings paid homage to this child with beautiful things. Born not in a palace, nor even a bed, this child had a manger in an old cattle shed. Now millions of people, and then billions more, have all heard this story and they've listened with awe, for this tale that I tell is a wondrous thing of a child born in squalor who was more than a king. He brought us a message, so loud and so clear, so why is it then that we still do not hear, of love, peace and goodwill for all of mankind? Oh, how can we see and yet still be so blind? But his words have endured for two thousand years, and maybe there's hope if just one person hears. So remember God's message and tell everyone, forget not the day when God gave us his Son. <laughs>